guys, we are back in action. Fnatic versus Game Inside. Knife round underway. Devil Walk just charging through these double doors. He's like, I don't care if there's three terrorists here. I am taking them down and actually does so without taking any damage. The left click is real. How is he doing this? Got two frags for himself. Run, Force, run. We'll be the last one alive. But Fnatic handily taking that knife round. So, again, we're on Dust 2. Not a huge deal, but we will see... Uh, Fnatic choosing to stay. DT side getting to this pistol round, running down the lineup. We got Devil Walk, Vin Shin, and uh, Anti rather, Inz and Ionic for game inside. It's going to be Run Forest, Run, Vandersar, Popka, Hetfield, Pasha, Texnik, and Petrick. You guys should know them well. We just saw them play, and it looks like it will be a B side play here. Popka heading in first. The Glock train is real. No frags as of yet. They will finally take out Anti. Devil Walk just playing this double door position, trying to peek in, get those headshots, but no luck so far. All five terrorists still alive. M multiple terrorists are damaged, but you see Venshin getting that frag on Apasha. Then we do see Venshin getting another one, so a double for him. Three terrorists left alive, and Venshin gets another one. Can he get a fourth? It's going to be a 4K wow. for him in this round, and that's going to be Fnatic picking up Pistol. Yeah, I don't know who this Vench and I mean, he wasn't part of the last Fnatic match we casted, so it, maybe it's a new and improved Fnatic. We might see kind of a, like a triple threat deal, or I'm not sure what exactly that's called, but when his uh, Fnatic lost to NIP, who, oh gosh, I don't know, everybody might beat each other is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But, yeah. Game inside definitely looked good against uh, the NIP staff, but only a few of their players. And, uh, the opposite could be said for some, but Game Inside does go for a B rush here. Devil Walk and Annie just <laughs> shut that sorry. down completely. That awkward moment when you're the last one left in tunnel, and he should have pushed in. He's gonna try and get a frag. Oh, what my is going God. on? For those of you just joining us, Vanderson got two whole frags in the last match. So look, look for, look for that. Yep. Um, I'm sure he's a nice guy, and I hate to uh, rag on him, but he he certainly did not get very much done in the last match. But who knows? Maybe this is his comeback. We're gonna see him uh, top frag or something like that. I, I think it's just because Run Forest Run absorbed all of his power. Because Run Forest Run, I think, dropped damn near 50 in the yep. entirety of the game. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm pretty sure Run Force Run, his power level is over 9,000. And he is a beast in his own right. You're going to see multiple terrorists working mid right now. Inns playing this pushed up cat position. Drops down, does grab a frag on Run Force Run. There is Petrick here, hoping to trade though. Does peek, get the frag, and there is going to be a second one. Can he get the spray down? He's trying so hard! He is going to jump away with 18 HP. Nade goes down and luckily did not kill anybody. We do see on the other side of the map, Vandersar gets dropped as he attempts to push into B. Not sure what was going on there, but switching back to a mid play. Popka taking a frag, but Pasha congratulating him in the way of a headshot. That's the take worst way to his... kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, your teammate, <laughs> your teammate kills somebody and then you kill your teammate. That's just the worst way to go about it, but they trade kills yet again, and Petrick in the one versus two likely going to go down, and there it is, Fnatic up 3-0, and uh, the the bad luck of Vandersar continues. It was going on over at B. Basically, uh, Vandersar is trying to walk into the site. The Fnatic player over there is playing the the super to the side angle just outside of tunnels when you're approaching the the back of site, and that was that. Vandersar's bad luck continues. Has he gotten a frag yet? Nope, he's not on the board, so we'll see how long that continues. So this round, it looks like Game Inside's busting out of long. And then Nade. Only with blocks here. Oh, man. That nade just shatters. And, oh, man, Vention from the site. One, two, three, four. He's looking for that ace. Vander will Sar Vandersar give it to him? Can he go huge in this position? I don't know, man. He's in the one versus five. What do you think? He's getting pinned from all sides with his Glock, down to 2 HP, could he get this kill? He is reloading, the nade on top of his feet will be his oh demise! My God. <laughs> They're just playing Vandersar. with him at this point, poor guy. 
goes you know, out of all down. the people you want to have alone in that situation, it's definitely not him. But I mean, as far as their strategy goes, I don't know if Vandersar is not in the mumble or not in the voice chat or something. It does seem but, like he's doing his own thing. That's uh, that's for certain. Right. Gonna see a push long from the T's. Three of them coming out along a doors. Actually, it is a bit of an A stack for the CTs. Actually, Devil Walk and Inns getting aggressive mid as these players push up long. So it will be Ionic Invention on platform. They are pushing up long as we speak. Coming up to the cross and actually two frags. Those are the players playing on the platform. Inns trying to come back. He's going to be throwing a flash, but they're already there. Spraying him down and he is going to get dropped. Devil Walk get, does get a frag. Can he get any more? He does get one Vandersar more. Vandersar on the board. Vandersar is on the board and taking down none other than Devil Walk himself. So Anti does grab that frag. Two left on the field. Very lit is Popka. Pasha playing from this catwalk position. Smoke grenade onto I don't know where, and he's gonna go down and Popka will be there to trade, but I'm not sure what that smoke was for. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too sure either. Perhaps just to like shroud his teammate if he does get taken down. But I mean, he kind of didn't even have to peek at that point. But his teammate was a little exposed. But yeah. either way, job done for game inside. Very close in the end there. But I don't know why we're bagging on Vandersar so much. Pasha's yet to get a kill. But yeah, exactly. He's the new target. <laughs> so this round game inside, trying their luck at long again. This time in, does get one before he's taken down. So now that they have control of the pit, Fnatic is still shooting back from inside the bomb site of A. That is going to eventually be a 2-2 split here, unless they post one at middle. Four game inside. Another player goes down for Fnatic in the bomb site. That's Vention, who was doing huge things. Teammate Ionic as well has <gasps> fallen, but Devil Walk with that CZ gets one, runs out of bullets, and is going to be able to do no more. But now Anti does have a gun in this one versus three, and they are. All very low for game inside. Unfortunately, he does meet a smoke. Will this nade connect? Oh, just barely misses Petrick. But still, this is a round where it is okay to go for it. Fortunately for him, game inside doesn't have any more smoke. But here he comes peeking out. Vandersar did see. And Vandersar's going to peek out and get the frag. Vandersar's going huge for his team this time. He came to play. He had enough. Game inside rallying back two rounds in a row. But Fnatic is up 4-2. to two. Yep, 4-2 to two is the scoreline, and Vandershar, two frags on the board, so supporting his team well, and Pasha does kick in as well, 1-1 one and one for him, one assist, one frag, we do see a B-side play, Devil Walk's gonna be flashing, that should stop this rush, at least momentarily, but no, actually the flash doesn't land very well, Devil Walk gets one, spraying down, and he's still in sight, he's gonna get two, so... Is there going to be a take of the site? It is going to be a B plant taking site, but not before losing a number of members here. Run Force Run does smoke off tunnels. Won't have to watch that position and actually ends. He's at uh, the other side of that smoke, contemplating do I peek or do I stay? Vensin, or Venshin rather. Ionic pushing. One will go down in Ionic. Run Force Run from. That big box area ends though, comes in with the pistol and jumping up onto the box, Vensin, or Venshin, I don't know why I'm having problems with that, will get the frag, no kit though, five seconds left for Venshin, can he get the defuse, it's gonna be uh... so close down to the wire, one second left and the bomb is defused, five to two, Fnatic pick up the round but looking very close for game inside. And based upon previous games, Run For Us Run is definitely the guy you want in that situation. He couldn't take down the tunnels guy, and then he basically just ran backwards into Vention, who just slaughtered him execution style in the end and was able to get the defuse <laughs> with very little time to spare. But again, game inside coming straight out of long. They really like to do this early, and they do have a, kind of a force buy going on. Devil Walk is, takes down a run for us run, and that is a huge frag for Fnatic. It's a, that's pretty much the guy who's been doing all the work for game inside. But now Popka onto Ionic, still battling for control of Long. And now gonna go ahead and hightail it out of there. Are they gonna go around the world back to B? I'm not sure if anybody's spotting middle here for Fnatic Inns may have spotted it, I'm not sure. But they are gonna go all the way around and wow. Devil Walk does get one on the cross as well. 
So that should cue in to his teammate in B that it is time to rotate ends is coming in from tunnels as well. And he's going to oh, get flank. a good flank here. Never mind. Popka already on the location with his crosshair. And that was an easy kill for him. Still a lot of time for Game Inside to work around the map. They do have to do a Devil Walk if they want to throw any fake towards A, who is just cutting the map in half right now with that AWP in the middle. And they are going to test his op here in just a second. Or are they going to try to go back to Cat? Nope, they go up middle. Pasha drops. Popka tries. It fails. Devil Walk picks up two, and that's the end of the round. Six to two for Fnatic, and that's the first round in a while for them, I believe. Yeah, that was actually a 4K from Devil Walk, just going massive in that round for his team. Obviously, one of the star players, ex professional himself, clearly showing that uh, he's got game. He's still got game. He's currently the coach for uh, Fnatic. We are going to see a B side play heading into Lower Dark is the whole T side team. Petrick leading the charge at this point. Three CZ75s, Vandersur. And uh, and Petrick with only Glocks, and they are going to push out. Devil Walk goes down, but Venshin will get two frags there. Eventually does get dropped as well, though, and coming out of B is Anti. Can he get some more done? He does get one frag. Can he get any more? Nope, he will get put down as well. So Ionic from the CT position is peeking towards door, and Inns is going to be flashing over. They are going to be planting B. Vandersur. <laughs> Tries his hardest, pushing into CT, does get dropped, so this is going to be only Pasha left on the field. He is in the very back of B platform. Is he going to be able to make this happen? In's peaking window. Ionic thinking about going... I, he's thinking about nading his teammate, that's what he's thinking about. And that nade does go down, Pasha does get one frag. No call though, In's was staring at Tunnel and he's going to get the frag, but... I don't know what we just witnessed. Fnatic will pick up that round, but not before uh, some crazy things occur. Well, Fnatic basically handed game inside that round. Not only did Vandersar take it upon himself to single-handedly win the round by <laughs> leaving his teammate and pushing into spawn, his teammate got the first shot, saw him, and for some reason the Fnatic player was not looking at the angle in which his teammate was shot from. I'm not sure if that was a call or if his headset's on backwards or something, but just a strange, strange <laughs> round in the end. Yeah, so, I couldn't agree more. So this one, Fnatic now is back in the driver's seat at 7-2. to two, And for game inside, they try to take control along with like one player and they fall back. And now they're going to go for a five-man cat take. And it looks like it's working out for them. They do get the trade and another one. They have the advantage here as they are taken into the A bomb site. Will they be able to get the bomb down without losing any more players is the question, though. And it looks like Fnatic is not going to allow that to happen. It's Vandersar. It's his time to shine. One versus two with the Vandersar op. He ha here comes the first one coming from CT spawn. They're actually both coming from spawn. He whips out his Glock and dies. <laughs> 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 this guy is a legendary. Eight to two for Fnatic. And man, I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe he thought he had a nade, or he just like scrolled down in his mouse wheel or something. <laughs> oh my god! But he pulled out his Glock at the wrong I'm time. Crying. I'm crying right now. Never pull the out your Glock at the wrong time. Well, the, like, the way you labeled that, and then he pulls out the Glock. Oh my goodness, poor guy. Vandersar trying his hardest, and I, I, I apologize that I'm crying at the moment. But Vandersar, that was a, a good effort. But unfortunately, he will get dropped in that one v two. We do see Popka. Flashing out along here. Ian's right. gonna be the one making contact first. Great flashbang by him. That's gonna hold up these T's, but playing from car, he is in an awkward position. Four T's are long. He's gonna try and smoke himself off, but that is gonna be one of the worst smokes for his position. He tries to jump, but gets killed in the process. Popka takes that frag. It's gonna be Venshin playing from a platform here. He's gonna be spraying down long, hoping to connect. Not gonna get anything done though, and Looks like we do have two tears rotating to top of mid, Popka and Run Forest Run. Holding Cat though, Ionic with that P90, can he go pro with the Pro 90, does get one, can he get a second one, sees that AWP, will peek the corner, but Run Run Forest Run does secure that frag three versus three, two players long, they will get Devil Walk and they will get Vengeance, so it's going to be down to you, Ante. Dropping down from Cat is going to be two frags, making it a one versus one. What are we watching right now? Petrick, last one alive, very lit. If he tries to plant this bomb... Actually, I was going to say, a nade from Cat could occur by Anti. 
Ante. I don't know why I have problems with that name. I just can't say it. But, yeah, Patrick's uh, he, playing mind games with himself in the site right now. Yeah, he should just try and plant the bomb. I, I think he suspects as soon as he kind of clicks it, maybe a nade's going to come down or a quick peek. But Petrick still looking around. 12 seconds left on the clock. Does pre-fire elevator. And he is going to be pushing from long, though. Flash on a cat, and he is going to be planting, but planting into position where his head is available. And he grabbing that frag. And that's going to be Fnatic picking up round number nine for them. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Petrick just deked himself out. And that's not the first time we've seen that in this just games today. I don't think it was Petrick specifically, but we've seen players deke themselves out. And that's uh, not a fun not a fun thing to do, that's for sure. And I'm I'm wondering what the other, the CT's player pl uh, plan was, because at that point when there's 11 seconds left and the guy hasn't planted, you kind of assume he's B and not falling back to long with 10 seconds left. So I'm really unsure what the CT was thinking there, but fortunately for him, the terrorist wasn't thinking anything better as he was juking himself out in the bomb site. So all around stellar play from the two teams here in the end. And now Fnatic elects to stack towards the A-bomb site. They have collected one frag in their favor. Run for us, run. Still does have the AWP. So, game inside. Just looking for anybody from Fnatic to push, and we do see a catwalk push occurring. And Anti does take down Poppy inside of B. That's a nice shot peeking his way up from the back of sight. And who's the player on catwalk that's going to see the action here? It is going to be oh. Inns, who pulls a nade. Oh, a devil walk response from Hildo. So still in middle, working their way up from Cat is game inside. Vention from the site drops the last two. Fnatic up 10-2. And with the addition of Vention, man, it's a whole new Fnatic staff. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. 14 frags on the board for him. Just uh, second place underneath Devilwalk, and Devilwalk doing work right now, holding that AWP mid. We did see him, uh, he got one frag, one and a half. He did get an A for that last frag, so looks like a long push, but... The nade stack is real, it's coming in, and so many lit players for the T side, and they're just going to be spraying and down. Run for us, run, does get a frag, actually two, and uh, trying to throw a flashbang is Ionic. That's not going to work out for him, so it is a 2v1. Devilwalk being one of the players still alive, and he peeking top mid does miss that shot, and if Pasha collected that, that would have been a 1v1 versus Devilwalk. Not the player you want to be playing versus... Uh, you know, one v one, but nonetheless, Anti does pick up that frag, and Fnatic go up eleven to two in this match. Yep, game and sides running out of opportunities to bring this score a little closer in the second half. They only have two rounds to get what they can in this half, and they do whip out the P90. And the last time, I believe it was the last time they B rushed it, or maybe that was a different game, but it really worked out. But they're going to lead the charge. With that P90 up the catwalk, they're going to have to deal with in who is, sees a lot of terrorists. Peeks the corner, gets one. Unfortunately for that silent M4, runs out of bullet. And Vandersaur <laughs> wins the battle against Devilwalk. Practically <laughs> in a fist fight there. It looks like Game Inside Game Inside's going to win this round as they make their way up. Catwalk still two up, though. Ionic and Anti. Ionic falls all the way back into the long area. And then Annie's going to be coming up from the CT. Ionic decides to flash himself before he takes around the corner. There's a better one. And now making his way up. Peeks around. Can he find anybody? It doesn't look like it. He is taken out. And this leaves Annie in a one versus three. Misses it. Goes for the CZ. And man, he is running out of time here. It looks like uh, Peeks around. Gets the last one. There's only one more to deal with. He couldn't. He has to go for the defuse right now or it's over. What? Hits the nice CZ, not but it's not enough. It yeah, but still, Fnatic <gasps> so is up. 11 to 3, and that cannot be understated. What a retake, though, Andy. <laughs> Jeez, three frags with that CZ75. Not enough time to get that defused, but that is going to be another round four game inside. Taking a look at the graph, they haven't won a round since round five and six, so they will take the 14th. We're into the 15th round here, last round of the half. AK47. running on his head. What a guy. <laughs> what? Did I miss it. He's like oh, Jesus, he walks on heads, no big deal. Devil Hawk grabbing one frag will get traded upon. We're gonna see Inns pushing out, does get two frags. Ionic 
Gets one as well, so the bomb is down. Petrick, last one on the field. I'm not gonna lie, I really just wish I missed, or I saw that <laughs> running. <laughs> running on that player, Petrick. Gets a frag, so down to a 1v3, but Venshin closes things out. 12 to 3 is your halftime score. And I think that's gotta be Vandersar's highlight of the matches so far. Just unintentional greatness. <laughs> the god himself. So, Fnatic now, starting on this second half, up 12 to 3. If they win that, if they win this pistol, that is all she wrote, and I believe... I'm not sure how they did in their last game, if they played another one that I missed, but they are... If they win this, they'll be at least at 1-1. And so let's see what we got going on for this pistol round. It is going to be a mid-rush here from Fnatic. Never mind, it's going to be Cat. Run for his run. Tries to peek down at the double door angle. It pays for it with his life. And now they're taking up the catwalk. The CTs are exposed, but there's a whole lot of CTs in the area. They might be able to do something. Never mind, Vandasar is their last hope. And even gods can bleed, and he is taken out. So... Last guy up for the CT, it is Petrix. 30 bullets, can't get anybody with them. And Fnatic look like they're going to be walking away with this one with pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Yep. I like it, Vandersar Walk. That's, uh, that's the new name. He's going to replace Devil Walk, actually. Um, he is the man, the legend himself. You see uh, CZ75's 4-3 counter-terrorist here. They do have armor as well. Helmets on everybody except for Petrix. And it looks like a long play, though, from Fnatic. They're going to be coming out quickly, and Vandersar just in the most random position possible with his CZ-75 not going to make that work. So <laughs> pushing on to site is going to be the Terrace, or is going to be Anti still peeking mid and just collecting frag after frag. And that's going to be the end of game inside in that round. Oh, and man, their money is broken, but at this point... Kind of, ju you kind of just want to go for it, buy up those CZs and armor. I mean, or smoke up mid and stack a bomb site. I'm not sure which one they're going to go with. They are going to try to save out for the tie, and those are some lofty dreams. I kind of would rather place it in the hands of some CZs. Let's see what they got. Fanatics looking to end this one quickly, running straight into B with four other members. Who do we got holding? But it's run for us, run! Oh my God, he's battling back. He gets two, but all three of his teammates are taken down. So we got Vandersar. First man to rotate in from the tunnels. He's got a beautiful skin. The grassland leaves that P2000. Let's see if he can do some damage with it. He's going to peek around back. Or he's going to bait his teammate. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. It, he should be the first one to initiate. Pre-aim that box. He does dink Vention. So he does get a little damage. But if he hits this, it's going to be huge. But he can't get it done. Lucky by Vention. But Fnatic is up 15 to 3. Yeah, we're going to see this uh, go into match point here, 15-3, to 3, like you mentioned. Four M4 buys across the board. Four game inside, they do have the money to do so. But it does look like Devilwalk will be flashing out along here, peeking out with his AK-47. There is Popka already in pit, but Devilwalk will put him to bed. Vandersar, the god, the legend, peeks the corner. And he takes him down handily, though. And uh, Run Force Run does pick up Inns. But uh, that's the only frag so far for the counter terrorist. We do see Run Force Run peeking from Cat. The bomb is still in long A doors, and that nade. Yeah, that's going to be the double nade stack. And Run Force Run, Kobe out of the game. Petrick, the one and only CT left in this game. 28 points of health. Needs to pick up this round if they want to stay in. And a double nade stack. Are you kidding me? He is in this. Oh my god, we are down to a 1v1. Venshin. Alone with the bomb, a 3k on Petrick, and he's going to work from Cat. He he does use that nade, and that's going to be the end of the round, but good effort for for Petrick there. The double nade is real. 16-3 to 3 is going to be the scoreline, though. Oh my goodness, I jumped on my seat for a second there. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the GGs were already called, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he hit one of them with the nade. And we yeah. stopped it right away, but... Fnatic is, uh... is going to take the win over game inside. Unfortunately, we might have seen the end of Vandersar. Rip, sweet prince, rip.
Exactly, exactly. So if my wonderful producer would let me know what we're doing. Actually, I can see the schedule in chat. Let's take a peek here. It's going to be uh, Fnatic versus One Game. So we are going to see the return of Devilwalk and his crew coming up in about... Let me take a look at my clock. And I think it's going to be coming up in the next 5-10 minutes, guys. So do hang tight. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for uh, stopping by. We do appreciate if you do click that follow button. It's a little step by you, but it really does help us out a lot. And uh, if you got uh, a couple spare bucks lying around as well, the subscriptions are much appreciated. There's a number of uh, perks for that as well. We can see at the top of the screen, we got some giveaways, Huntsman Knives. We got uh, X I by Power Member Steel offering some lessons at 200 subs as well. So stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, we're going to be jumping into this next game in just a moment. So please do hang tight. If you guys want to find out more about these matches, please look on HLTV.org. They, uh, they are going to provide all that match information so stay tuned guys we're going to be back in just a moment me and laser signing out for just a few minutes <laughs> 